So let's talk about some signs of trauma bonding real quick. Signs, just a few signs. Holding the fantasy that the narcissist is not really toxic. You're holding on to a fantasy that, you know, it's not really that bad. I have heard of atrocious behavior. I have heard of horrific gaslighting and completely obvious, you know, manipulation going on and had people say, is that really that bad? And I know that they're intelligent people. And I know that if they saw it in someone else, they would say, oh, no, you get out, you run. You know, they would see it. This is the problem. The cognitive dissonance and the trauma bonding holds you there and you can't see it. So another, that's a sign that you're trauma bonded still. OK, justifying or taking accountability for the toxic behavior yourself. Um, they didn't mean it, but they love me. I know they love me. They had a horrible childhood. I can see why they act that way. I, I, I can help. I can, I can help them change. It's if I, if only I loved them better. If only I were a better person. You know, it takes two. It always takes two. There's two sides to everything. When you start justifying like that too much over extremely toxic behavior, you're probably trauma bonded. Okay. Another thing is the constant thoughts of the person. You can't live your life and have a thought of your own. You're always, and it's not just thoughts. It's not just, oh, I love my person. Oh, like, you know, you might think about your kids a lot or, or your puppy or your or your partner if they're not toxic. And you might think off and on throughout the day about them and have consider, oh, I wonder what they want to do tonight. I wonder what they're doing right now. That's not what I'm talking about. When I say constant thoughts of a person, I mean the walking on eggshell thoughts, the concern, the worry. What are they doing? Where are they? And the reason you're that way is not because you're paranoid. It's not because you're jealous. It's not because you are need to be controlling person. It's because they have set it up so they aren't safe. They have set it up so the whole situation feels really unstable for you. And so you're always thinking about them. That constant thought of a person a narcissist becomes an essential part of your life, your everything. Okay, another sign you're tra trauma bonded is your desire to return to a toxic person or a toxic relationship. The desire to return even when you know better. The desire to return even when you feel the pain of the of what they cause in your life. You don't even know why. Like I will ask people in coaching, okay, the first thing they say is, I want to break no contact. I say, why? Why? What is it? What's up? What's going on for you? What is it that makes you want to reach out? They're, oftentimes they say, I don't even know. I don't know. I just feel like I have to. I just want to. I'm worried. I'm, I'm this, I'm that. But there's no real answer often. It's just a drive. It's a desire. Another sign of trauma bonding is low self-esteem in combination with all of this stuff, especially if you're a person who's pretty good on your own and suddenly you're not. And Or if you have had a sudden drop in self-esteem from being around someone. Um, if you have always had low self-esteem and you track back your history and you realize you've been around toxic people your whole life, well, that could be a sign of trauma bonding too, and and other among other things, you know, it's it's part of narcissistic. Um, it's like the survivor syndrome, right? Okay, another sign of being trauma bonded is you feel lost to self, in combination with these other things, right? You you feel all these other things, plus you don't know who you are. You don't remember how what you like, what you want. So I would add in here another sign of trauma bonding. This is. Um, what I think is um, not being able to fully feel your emotions. You feel waves of emotion based on what that other person is conducting, right? So if they're not talking to you, if they're doing this, if they're doing that, then you feel the thing. But on your own, you don't really have any more feelings because you're you're so focused on that relationship. Plus, you're so used to having to go into survival, which is disassociation, shut down, um, keeping it all in, retreat, freezing, right? The freeze response from uh, our, our uh, fight, flight, freeze, and fawn. Um, <clears throat> another sign of being trauma bonded is that you are in fight, flight, freeze, and fawn often, especially around that other person or when it relates to something that triggers something about that other person. Okay, um, so we have to remember love is not this kind of pain. Love is not toxic. Love is acceptance. 
accept your love is based. So when you're trauma bonded, you've got to start somewhere. You've got to, you've got to come to realizations for yourself and come to acceptance that what you're experiencing with this person is not healthy love and accept that your love is based on a toxic cycle. I am Lise Colucci, one of the life coaches over at queenbeing.com. If you like this channel, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up. If you need anything related to coaching or group coaching, check out the main description of every video. I can be reached there. I'm here to help you if you need it. Okay. Um, and I guess that's it. So I will see you guys next time. You have a fantastic day and take care. Bye-bye.